wanna use me Then you gotta use me till I'm gone I'm not a fallen angel Just fell behind I'm out of luck, I'm out of time If you don't wanna love me Just let me go I'm running for the last train I'm running for the last train home Hey, how you doing? Justin here today. We are checking out Long Train Home by John Mayer. Normally I wait a couple of years to do a hit single, but actually this only got released yesterday, so I'm fairly quick off the mark. Really cool song, this like great 80s pop thing, a uh, lot of heritage there going back to Toto and stuff like that. Really good use of triads, so I'm going to show you a couple of different approaches to it. Uh, there's a way that you see him play it quite obviously on the record, but as well there's another approach to it which is kind of copying the keyboard line. So uh, I'll take you through it all, there's a, you know, you can do it with finger style or strumming, there's lots of different uh, things that you could try out with this tune, but let's get to a close-up. Up, check it out. So let's start off with the intro, which is this. Now I've added in the bass note there on the beat, kind of helps hold it all together because what's actually played is just these little triad shapes. So this first one is an E chord, it's all based around a, an E, probably you're familiar with that. This little idea of a try just the strings two, three, and four at the ninth fret. First finger bar is probably the best way to do that. Making sure you lift up your first finger so you're not grabbing this note here on the thinner string. That's not going to sound so good. You've probably got an E bass note going on there, right? That's that's your E chord. But it starts with this. Now it's really it's an A triad from a C shape chord. We'd all put up that far up the neck, but that's an A triad, and we've got the A triad going to an E. You could th also think of it as like a E6 sus4 to an E, made common by like the Rolling Stones-y sort of stuff like that. Or you can think of it as A with an E bass to an E. And that happens on beat 1, 2, 3, 4. Then again, 1, 2, then to a B, still over the E bass, but this is part of this B bar chord shape, which I'm sure is familiar. Okay, just seven, eight, nine on the second, third, and fourth string. So that's B, then back to the E again. This time you're probably going to use your third finger there. So that whole section, those first two bars. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, A with an E bass to E. A with an E bass to E to B, an E bass to E. Then it goes to A proper so now we've moved the bass note over if you're going to play the bass note to the open fifth string or you could play it with your thumb which is what it looks like John's doing on the original recording playing the A bass note with the side of your thumb now there's this little bit again it's going to another E chord so this is now the same shape that we played an A up here there's the root note that's an A there's the root note this is an E going to the A okay so A to Three. And now that this this E is coming on the last sixteenth note of beat three and the second sixteenth note of beat four. So one, two, three E and up four E and a one. And then again on beat one on A. Okay, so just get that one, two, three E and up four E and a one, two, three E and up four E and a one, two, three E and up four E and a one. Now, I must admit, when I'm doing the consistent bass note thing, it's actually kind of, that little bit is kind of difficult to keep the bass note there. I keep fluffing it up if I'm trying to sing it and play it at the same time. But, uh, yeah, the bass note is going to fall between those. So you're going to have one, two, three, E, and a four, E, and one, two, three, E, and a four, E, and one, two, three, E, and a four, E, and one. Okay, just take a little bit of practice if that's, if you want to add that in, you definitely don't have to. So that intro nice and slowly a couple of times. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and a four, e and one, two, three, and again. One, two, three, four. A, E, B, E, A. E, A. In the video 
video clip, that does appear to be the way John's playing it in the verses, but there's another approach which sounds a little bit more like the keyboard part. Basically, when you're using this sort of triad, the top note of the triad sounds like the melody, and you can quite clearly hear that it's different to that in that keyboard part. So uh, another option that you might like to explore for that part, if you're playing and singing it, is to follow the keyboard line like this. Three, four, one, two, three. Second time, slightly different. All of this first part is the same. Okay, it's just doing B over A. Very, very toto that sound. So we got the A E. You got the A E B at the fourth fret. So just the strings two, three, and four on the. The fourth fret, E, B, that's a B, sorry, then going to E, which is just this chord, regular E, but just playing strings two, three, and four again to A. You should not be familiar with A, second fret, just using a mini bar. Now we're keeping the A bass, so this is an E triad, but with the A bass using first and second fingers. So that section, one, two, three. Second time round, exactly the same thing to start off with. A, E, B, E, A, two, three, B. So it's just moving the first finger up to for the B. Okay, let's have that one more time all of the way through. So if you want to A, E, if you want to A, E, B, E, A. Second time it's E A E, then it's going A E B E A B B A two. Now into the chorus A two three four C sharp minor E back to A. Doesn't really matter which version of the A you play, really. A again C sharp minor. F sharp minor, A to B, and then we're back to our different approaches, so we'll talk about that in a second. On the original recording in the chorus, John is playing single notes and dyads there, so it's kind of like a little riff going on while he sings and plays at the same time. I haven't had a go at working that out yet. Uh, if you want to do a strumming version, if you're doing a cover of this song, then you could really do any sort of strumming pattern that you like here. It's definitely kind of that 16th note feel, so 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a 1E e and a 2E, e, but, and really, you can... That's the kind of, as long as you keep that hand moving and you're feeling the groove, it's going to be okay. Definitely feels like one, two E and a three E and four E and one, two E and a three E and four E and is a nice one. One, two E and a three E and four E and one, two E and a three E and four E and down, down, up, up, down, down, up. If you want to strum through the verses on those little triad grips, like it appears that John is doing in the video clip, most of the strums, most of the chords are going to be down strums, except for the little part will both be upstroke. So you'd have down, 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 up, up, down. Definitely want to get used to.
to that. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, up, down. It's not that difficult if you get the hair moving down. And that's pretty much the whole song there for the solos and stuff and the additional parts at the end. It's the same as the intro. Uh, sometimes it might do the little B chord on the breaks. I can't remember. I should have checked that out and written it down. And I didn't on my little cheat chart that I do when I'm doing these songs. But uh, I'm sure if you just have a listen to it, you'll be able to figure that out. I'm sure you're going to have a lot of fun playing this song. It works great on acoustic guitar. It works great on electric guitar. It's a really good vibe you want to be playing along with. If you need any help with stuff like the triads and finding the root notes or the different shapes or the chord grips or the 16th notes drumming, any of that stuff, there are loads of lessons over on the website. Thousands of lessons. They're all still free. Go and check it out. And I'm sure I can help you out with whatever you're struggling with. I'll see you for plenty more very soon. You'll take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.